There is a major breaking development in the cyber attack that has forced the cancellation of thousands of appointments and procedures in Newfoundland and Labrador. Peter Cowan has been on the story for this number of days. He's live outside the Health Sciences Centre in St. John's. Peter, what is the breaking news from there? Heather, after five days, we finally got a little bit of good news, and that's the fact that the main computer system that stores patient information at this hospital is now back up and running, and staff are very happy about that. We're waiting for an official update from Eastern Health about how this is going to impact services, but staff were told they can use the system once again after five days of having to rely on paper-based charts, basically doing things the way they were done 30 or 40 years ago. Now, it means there's a bit of a gap because, of course, anything that's happened over the last five days isn't in the computer system. So they're still going to have to update all of that. And so for today, at least, there, it is still emergency procedures only. They have canceled even things like chemotherapy. Uh, but we now have at least some signs that they've been able to rebuild some of the systems after the cyber attack and a hint that things might start to get back to normal. Peter, just so everyone realizes, um, you have been really driving this story. We've listened in on those news conferences when you had the sources saying this was a ransomware attack. We still haven't had that, but we did get the confirmation that it is indeed a cyber attack Newfoundland is dealing with. And you've been speaking with a cyber expert who calls this, in fact, the worst cyber attack in Canadian history. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I talked to David Shipley, who's a security expert based out of New Brunswick, and, and he said the reason that he characterizes it this way is never before has an entire health system been under attack. We've seen individual hospitals be the victims of ransomware attacks in this country, but, you know, if it's one hospital, you have alternatives. You can send your cancer patients somewhere else, but, you know, it's been a widespread across most of Newfoundland and Labrador and also the duration you know it is now five days and we're just starting to see some of those first systems come online uh, and so you know he said this is a warning not just obviously for Newfoundland and Labrador but for the entire country and he'd really like to see the federal government really step up here to make it clear that Canada as a whole is not going to tolerate these sort of attacks this needs to be on the front page on the prime minister's desk and it's you know it's it's not just about newfoundland this could have this was going to happen to any province across this country we were warning about it for the, since june there, there are great stories that that the uh, the healthcare networks across canada were crying for help they knew they were under siege and they didn't get it so there are a lot of questions still about this attack, even as those systems come online. Like, for example, the confirmation that it was, in fact, a ransomware attack, and did any money change hands in order to get these systems restored? Uh, so we are certainly going to be looking for more answers today, especially uh, up at the House of Assembly. We're expecting the health minister to face lots of questions today, Heather, in question periods about this. We will listen into yours. Thank you so much, Peter, with the breaking news of uh, one of the systems back up and running there in St. John's. Peter Cowan on the story for us.